Good day, live and vibing here. And we're gonna talk about Aussie slang. Yeah, Aussie slang. It's the best, man. Yeah, Aussie slang. What we call a female, we call her a chick, a bird, or sheila. A man, like me. Yeah, real man. We call it bloke, a fella, a dude. And good day, mates. Hello, how you going? Good on ya, mate. Means good work. And mate, that sort of means your friend or your buddy. Not something you go, you know, and do the, the deed with. <laughs> the other one is toilet. We never call it a toilet. It's always a dunny, a loo, a bog house, a crapper, or a turd bank. We have a name for surprise. It could be lots of things, it could be crikey. Good old Steve Irwin, my mate. He used to say that all the time. And the other one is Struth. That means, whoa, we know our surprise. Fair Dinkum means honestly or honest. The other one, other words we have is uh, as stuffed. Stuffed means you're tired, or also that means that you stuff yourself. Stuff to guts full of food. So guts means stomach. So you probably got that in everywhere else as well. The other thing, a lot of people call the things that we call thongs. Because it looks like a thong, it looks like you wear a thong on your foot. Yeah, it looks like you wear a G-string on your foot, that's what we call a thong. You call it some people call them flip-flops. Or, or the kiwis call them dandles. Don't know where the hell they get that from. Last time I checked, they weren't Japanese. We have a bludger. That's someone who lives off the government or someone who's lazy. That's not me. I ain't live off the dog. <laughs> a barbecue, we got a barbie. We, call, we actually call them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We call them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have Arvo for afternoon. Dinner is called tea. Yeah, that's right, tea. Breakfast is called Bricky. Yeah, a bit like a Bricky. And this is how we count. One, two, three, four, five, six. As other countries like New Zealand say sex instead of six. Yes, that's exactly what it sounds like. Sex. I just want to count the six, so I don't do the other one. What we call underwear. Yes, underwear. <laughs> Things you wear down there. Before you put your pants and dress or whatever the hell you put on. We call them undies, jocks, or knickers. We have swimwear, where you go like a sexy beach like me, and you go down on the beach. Now, we have a few words for these ones. One's togs, other one's bathers. Now, when you come to the speedo range, the ones that look like you're wearing jocks at the beach, we call them budgie smugglers. Why do we call them budgie smugglers? But that's what the hell I look like. Like someone's wearing a pair of jocks and they're trying to stuff a budgie down in the pants. <coughs> like it's a small pair of ears and it. That's what it, exactly what it looks like. They're trying to, you know, smuggle one away. We call people a foolish drongos. Yeah. We call people a bit s silly or a bit stupid. A galah. A galah is a you know, bird like a cockatoo. It's pink and grey. Quite pretty, but. It's got a name for being a bit silly. So, we've got something going a bit silly, call them a glar. Now, the other one is when you do a poo in the dunny. Or the toilet as you just got educated on. Basically, you say turd, crap, bog, dropping your load, all that stuff. It's called bogan. That's me. Yeah, I'm bogan. Logan bogan. Yeah. So basically that means something a bit rough around the edges. Don't know where to get that from. Oh yeah, America's calls rednecks. Yeah. The other one is fart. Now fart, now that's a good one. That's an international language, that one. We call dropping your guts. Who cut the cheese? And sometimes people call them barking spiders. Because they're like a barking spider. 
And we do say bloody a lot in Australia, which means like it accentuates a point. And bloody oath means what? Really? Yes. Now I'm going to teach you all those words in a sentence. I was driving down the shop the other day and the shooter cut me off. I almost cracked my dad. Then my mate goes, Struth, mate, you're right. What'd you do? I went up and I talked to her and she started getting a knickers in a knot. And she goes, You dumb bacon! You're going too slow! And I went, Listen, chick. I almost cracked me dax six times because you were so bloody fast and you cut me off. Bloody oath, you were just reckless as hell. Crikey. You know, just slow down. I didn't even slow down, just get bugger. You don't fly. I didn't even listen to any crap that you give me. So, so what'd you do then, mate? Oh, I just, I just told her, whatever. Yeah, I just told her to wrap off, leave me alone. I need to go and do it, Danny, and drop a crap. Bogan out. And that's it. This is Logan Bogan, educating you on Aussie slang.